Hello, and thank you for watching. Today, I'll be discussing the life of Gnaeus Marcius Coriolanus. In 491 BCE, there was a shortage of food in Rome, as a patrician named Coriolanus saw this as his opportunity to reverse the political gains made by the plebeians in the first secession. Coriolanus suggested that the Senate force the plebeians to abolish the office of tribune, or else have to buy food at incredibly high prices. In response, the tribunes tried to put Coriolanus on trial, and he scornfully claimed that they had no authority over a patrician like him. Nevertheless, Coriolanus was condemned, and he angrily went into exile among the Volsci. Coriolanus led the Volsci in a very successful military campaign that took him right into Roman territory in 488 BC. The frightened Romans sent a senatorial representative to ask him for peace, but he rejected the overture. The Romans then sent priests to Coriolanus, but he rejected them. Thus, the women of Rome took charge of the situation. They pleaded with Coriolanus, but he remained unmoved, until he was informed that among the women were his mother, Venturia, and his wife, Volmenia, who had brought Coriolanus's two young sons with her. Venturia reminded him of his obligation to Rome, and at last Coriolanus relented, moving his army away from the city. Coriolanus's story reflects the tensions between patricians and plebeians at this time, and the threats that the young republic faced from nearby enemies. It also demonstrates the civic duty that Romans valued so highly, even if the hero of the story only remembers it at the last minute. It's also important to note the role of women in this story. They are examples of patriotism and female virtue and show that ancient writers saw Roman women as citizens of the state as well as members of families, which cannot be said of their Greek counterparts. Thank you for watching this video, and please like and subscribe for more history content. Thank you.